slut. Okay, ma. Oh, now he's raping his own mother. Hey, what the? Can we get Boom. We're back. We are back. I know it's been a while, guys. Um, let's just let them know who we're reacting to. We're reacting to your favorite. Eminem. We're picking up where we left off. Uh, we do want to apologize for the yeah. wait. Um, I just want to explain a little bit, give you an insight what was happening. Andy, as you know, he's an editor, so his life is always editing. And most of the times, our free times, we edit on the weekends or we film during yep. the weekends. So that's basically like a full day of reacting, a full day of editing. And sometimes, you know, we are humans, so <laughs> we do have a life. We do go out, we have dinners and stuff like that, but we do like creating. But there was a thing. Andy had a few beers listening to YouTube. No. And... There goes the drive and the computer, and we could not. Save Someone it. ran into me and liquid got <laughs> all over the computer and the hard drive. You know, you, you can't stop these things. Um, but yeah, so now we're back. We're right back into the Marshall Mathers LP, uh, the second album. We're gonna keep going down this journey. We apologize for the wait. Uh, super excited to get back because I gave the Slim Shady LP uh, like 9.9999999 to the tenth 999 power out of 10 stars, so it was fucking epic. Uh, but now we're gonna see if the Marshall Mathers LP can outclass the Slim, the Slim, the Slim Shady LP. I'm super excited. Uh, this video, uh, you know, we'll take it a few tracks at a time like we always do. Maybe one maybe one track, maybe three tracks, but we'll put videos out, you know, at least once a week for you guys. Uh, so I say we just jump into the album. Yes, let's jump into it. And the only reason why we're doing like a song at a time is just in case something else happens. Exactly, yeah. We have something to edit to you guys and give you as much as we can. Also, um, I'm in Texas right now and then Andy's right now in LA because of work. But we're, True. we're hopefully here in maybe a month or so, we are back together, but he, I will have a special guest. Yeah. I promise, <laughs> filling in for me while I'm gone. But for now, you get me. In the next couple of videos, you have me. We'll both be here in LA uh, permanently, hopefully within the next month. Yes. Uh, but we're here together now. We're gonna go through this whole album and we're gonna give you guys some sickness. Let's do it. Yes, let's go. Public service announcement 2000. This is another public service announcement brought to you in part by Slim Shady. Slim Shady does not give a fuck what you think. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can suck his fucking cock. Little damn. Dad, upon purchasing this album, you have just kissed his ass. Slim Shady is fed up with your shit, and he's going to kill you. Uh, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Sue me. When I was just a little baby. We're, we'll get back into that. Uh, first of all, classic intro. You always get the classics from Eminem. I just have a feeling. This album might be more intense than the first one. The first one is already insane. Like the shit he was saying, just like, wow. I think he's gonna out outdo himself on this one. Yes, this is awesome. I can't wait to see what Andy thinks about this album. Um, definitely, it starts to get just better and better as he goes. Um, I think this is like one of my favorite albums. Like literally like the first, I don't know, three albums from okay. the beginning. Okay were my favorite, at least on my part, my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to see what Andy thinks. Let's flip. Let's see what we got. All right, so now okay. let's kill you. Track number two, let's get it. Let's get it. When I was just a little baby boy, my mama used to tell me these crazy Ooh. things. She used to tell me my daddy was an evil man. She used to tell me he hated me. But then I got a little bit older and I realized she was the crazy one. But there was nothing I could do or say to try to change it Cause that's just the way she was They said I can't rap about being broke no more They say I can't rap about coke no more ah! You slut, you think I won't choke no whore Till the vocal cords don't work in his throat no more ah! These motherfuckers are thinking I'm playing Thinking I'm saying this shit cause I'm thinking it just to be saying it ah! Put your hands down bitch, I ain't gonna shoot you I'ma pull you to this bullet and put it through you ah! Shut up slut, you're causing too much chaos Just bend over and take it like a slut, okay ma? Oh, now he's raping his own mother. Hey, what the? When we gave him the Rolling Stone cover, you got them right, bitch. And I was too late. I'm triple platinum, and tragedies happen in two states. I invented violence, you buy venomous, buy little bitches, bang, bike it in, ring, ring, ring. Sixes his chainsaw, left his brains off, dangle it from his neck while his head barely hangs on. Blood, guts, guns, cuts, knives, lies, wives, nuns, sluts. Bitch, I'ma kill you. You the one. 
wanna fuck with me? Girls need you ain't nothing but a slut to me. Bitch, I'ma kill you. You ain't got the balls to beef. We ain't gonna never stop beef, and I don't squash the beef. You better kill me. I'ma be another rapper dead for popping off at the mouth with shit I shouldn't have said. But when they kill me, I'm bringing the world with me. Bitches too. You ain't nothing but a girl to me. I said, dude, I wanna fuck with shady. So Ooh. I shady. Well, fucking kill you. The harmony. So a lot to unpack here. I'm back to the 2000s. Yes. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the beat. Epic beat. This is sick. Um, don't kill me. I obviously don't know, but who produces? I'm gonna guess Dr. Dre or maybe Eminem himself. But epic beat. And secondly, he's already out it with the language. I mean, the line about raping his mom. Uh, insane. I never even thought he would go there. That. Wow. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty crazy how his mom, you know, told him stories when he was younger that his dad's a piece of trash, but he came and found out that his mom was a piece of trash and then he starts talking all this shit about her in the song. Um, I love it. I, it's amazing. I, I, I don't know what else to say that other than I'm loving this. I just song. love, I feel like uh, it's taking me back in time to the 2000s and just like the good rap when nobody was sensitive back then. I mean, I think they were protesting against him because it was so much. Like people didn't like like how he used to rap. Like it was such a yeah, big, exactly. It was too much for for a lot of people. But I loved it. I was like, whatever, let's fucking go. So I'm super excited. I'm, I'm excited too. We got to jump back into yeah, this epic song. Weapon, I'ma conceal you in a closet with dildo, sheets, pillows, and film you. Fuck me. I've been through hell. Shut the hell up. I'm trying to develop these pictures of the devil to sell them. I ain't asked to rap, but I rap on acid. So got a new blow ball and just had a strap on at it. Whoops. Is that a subliminal hint? No. It's criminal intent to sodomize women again. Eminem offend? No. Eminem on the soul. And if you ever give it to him, you give him an impulse to do it again. Then, That's if he does it again, you probably end up jumping out of something up in the tent. Bitch, I'ma kill you. I ain't done this, ain't the course. I ain't even drug you in the woods yet to paint the forest. Ooh. The is orange after you wash it three or four times in the tub, but that's normal, ain't it, Norman? Serial killer hiding murder material in a cereal box on top of your stereo. Here we go again. We're out of our medicine, out of our minds, and we want in yours. Let us in, or I'ma kill you. You don't want to fuck with me. Girls need you. ain't nothing but a slut to me. Bitch, I'ma kill you. You ain't got the balls to beef. We ain't gonna never stop beef, and I don't squash the beef. You better kill me. I'ma be another rapper dead for popping off at the mouth. What shit I shouldn't have said? But when they kill me, I'm bringing the world with me. Bitches too. You ain't nothing but a girl to me. I said, dude. Ooh, I love this part. The harmony, man. Okay, so I never thought in my lifetime I would say this. But I never thought there would be an artist that make, can make a song about killing, killing you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And make it sound so beautiful. And like, it's run, awesome. And you're just like jamming out to it. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna fucking kill yeah. you. It's so catchy. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh shit, I'm hot to this. It's hilarious. I just love it. It's like, <laughs> like you're, you're jamming to nothing but like. F and bomb. Pretty much. And like oh, murder and so rape. Weird. And you're like, oh, this is fire. Uh, yeah, serial killers. Let's go. So Let's sick, go. man. Uh, let's see what other craziness he's got. I actually, so far, this album's a 10 out of 10. We're just one real track in, you know, minus the intro. Insane. Know why I say these things? Cause lady screams, keep creeping in Shady's dreams. And the way things seem, I shouldn't have to pay these strings. It's 80 G's a week to say the same things twice. Twice, whatever, I hate these things. Fuck shots, I hope the weed will outweigh these drinks. Motherfuckers want me to come on their radio shows just to argue with them cause their ratings stink. Fuck that, I show radio announcer the bouncer. From that bitch to all 70,000 pounds of her. From principal to the student body and counselor. From in school to before school or out of school. I don't even believe in breathing. I'm leaving air in your lungs just to hear you keep screaming for me to seep it. Okay, I'm ready to go play. I got the machete from OJ. I'm ready to make everyone's throat sing. You faggots keep egging me on till I have you with knife point. Then you beg me to stop. Shut up. Give me your hands and feet. I said shut up when I'm talking to you. You hear me? Answer me. Or I'ma kill you. You don't want to fuck with me. Girls need you. ain't nothing but a slut to me. Bitch, I'ma kill you. You don't got the balls to beef. Me ain't gonna never stop beef. And I don't squash the beef. You better kill me. I'ma be another rapper dead for popping off at the mouth. 
with shit I shouldn't have said. But when they kill me, I'm bringing the world with me. Bitches too, you ain't nothing but a girl to me. Bitch, I'ma kill you though. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Crazy. Ladies, you know I love you. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you think? Uh, obviously, like I just said 10 seconds ago, 10 out of 10. This was awesome. From the beat to the lyrics, just an insane story. It's another movie going on inside my head. But the big thing I want to know is, like, would anybody even want to diss Eminem? I mean, after hearing a track like this, I, I, have, I have a feeling that no I one even no survived sense. a diss. I don't think so. I don't think nobody ever did. And everybody that did, you ended up on one of his songs. And you were just done. You career just over. Done. It's like, uh, oh, man. not career over, but you're just pretty, like, you don't want to talk. You don't want to fuck with him, yeah. You shame in, in the you know, on social media or the internet back then. Yeah, exactly. TV. But yeah, a lot of women actually were protesting against this because it was like, Ooh. you know, the feminists uh, out there, they were like, how can you call us bitches and all this kinds of stuff. But First of all, you should never criticize art. It's just art. It's not like it's your life. So and never had, criticize uh, it. Multiple interviews I saw that he would say, it's just songs. I think you guys are taking it too out of, like people who go music. so into depth about what he was saying. And it was just like creating, you know, but. Um, no, but anyways, please let them know what the next track is. The next song is Dan. Oh. And you guys know that we are reacted to. So if you are um, a new follower, a new listener, you're now just watching our reaction channel. We do have a previous uh, reaction on Stan. But it was now, a censored version. Yes, a lot of you guys, you are listening to the uncensored version. Yeah. So I'm just like, give me a break. You know, sometimes with YouTube, it's so hard to find it. And I know, like, yep. so now we're just trying to play the track. And if we play the track, you guys are like, you should have watched the video. So we do apologize if we're not reacting to the video or we're not reacting to the song. Long story short, she's just saying that you guys like it dirty and that's how we're gonna give it to you. <laughs> we're just gonna give it to you dirty. And everywhere. dirty and sucio, let's go. We're gonna Every single hole you got is about to get about dirty. We are about to react to Stan, the uncensored hmm. version. But if you guys wanna watch, why are you laughing? Uh, my joke just fell pretty bad. Anyway, stand dirty version. Let's go. Yes. All right, before we jump into the song real quick, I will go back. Uh, we do read your comments, and we just want you to know, we do know that that is Ditto on the chorus, singing her song. Uh, props to her, she kills it. Uh, love it, let's jump back into, into this Best beast. Best chorus ever. All right, let's check this uncensored version out. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn, you must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the post office or something. Sometimes I scribble the dresses too sloppy when I jot them. But anyways, fuck it, what's been up, man? How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too, I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'ma call her? I'ma name her Bonnie. I read about your Uncle Ronnie too, I'm sorry. I had a friend kill himself over some bitch who didn't want him. I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest fan. I even got the underground shit that you did with Scam. I got a room full of your posters and your pictures, man. I like the shit you did with Rockets too, that shit was fat. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back, just a chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Stan. Gotta say, just the ability for him to write from a fan's perspective perspective and put it into a letter format while he's rapping super impressive i don't know too many rappers that can do that so you got to give him and him 
all the kudos for just dominating that verse. Yes, I just love it. I love this song so much. I played a lot. In the <laughs> yeah. I, before now, Andy has it on his playlist, but I love the song. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, let's let's, let's keep cruising. Go. Let's keep cruising. Classic. Yours, the biggest fan. This is Stan. Outside the concert, you didn't have to, but you could have signed an autograph for Matthew. That's my little brother, man. He's only six years old. We waited in the blistering cold for you for four hours, and you just said no. That's pretty shitty, man. You like his fucking idol. He wants to be just like you, man. He likes you more than I do. I ain't that mad, though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when we met in Denver? You said if I write you, you would write back. See, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew my father neither. He used to always cheat on my mom and beat her. I can relate to what you're saying in your song. So when I have a shitty day, I drift away and put them on. Cause I don't really got shit else. So that shit helps when I'm depressed. I even got a tattoo with your name across the chest. Sometimes I even cut myself to see how much it bleeds. It's like adrenaline. The pain is such a sudden rush for me. See, everything you say is real. And I respect you cause you tell it. My girlfriend's jealous cause I talk about you 24-7. But she don't know you like I know you slim. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up. You gotta call me. Man, I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. Sincerely yours, Stan. P.S. We should be together too. So again, we're just going down this path of this erratic, crazy fan, and you can tell he's getting to the point where he's about to erupt because you know Eminem hasn't responded right. according to him. Uh he's a crazy guy. And just for Eminem to come up with this story is crazy. Um, but a masterpiece. I'm down to keep going. Yeah, I mean, we already watched the video. I mean, we watched the video. It was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it wasn't the explicit uh, version, but I just love it. I mean, I don't care if it's explicit or not. It just, it's really good. Like, the song is really good. Yeah, I've noticed, you know, a, some subtle changes so far. It's obviously, a little bit more cussing. But for the most part, it's been pretty pretty similar. Uh, but I have a feeling in the later verses, it's about to get crazy. And I think that's when shit's really going to change. But um, yeah, let's keep cruising. Two. Girl, ditto, man. Dear mister, I'm too good to call and write my friends. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two letters. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. So this is my cassette I'm sending you. I hope you hear it. I'm in the car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. Hey Slim, I drink a fifth of vodka. You dare me to drive? You know the song by Phil Collins in the air of the night about that guy who could have saved that other guy from drowning but didn't? Then Phil saw it all, then at a show he found him? That's kind of how this is. You could have rescued me from drowning. Now it's too late. I'm on a thousand downers now. I'm drowsy. And all I wanted was a lousy letter of a call. I hope you know I ripped all of your pictures off the wall. I love you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. I hope your conscience eats at you when you can't breathe without me. Damn. See, Slim? Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to talk. Hey, Slim, that's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But I didn't slit her throat. I just tied her up. See, I ain't like you. Because if she suffocates, she'll suffer more. And then she'll die, too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at the bridge now. Oh shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? Uh oh. Damn. This is crazy. Yeah. Alright guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Was the screaming in the video? I feel like they took it out. No, he's driving. And you can hear the screaming, but you don't see her you, because she's in the trunk. She's in the trunk, exactly. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. That's what it was, it was. yeah. Right. And it was also my first listen, so maybe I didn't pick up on it back then. But yeah, this is such a sad, wild, wild story he made here. Well written. I feel like I'm always well watching written. movies. 
dance with his songs. So Definitely. Pretty cool. You know what I wonder real quick? I'll, I'll get back into it. I wonder if Eminem Stan actually has more views than Ditto Song, than the original, just because I feel like he made this so popular. But it's like when I invite you for my song, so people are going to watch my song. Yeah, exactly. Compared to the person that it's featured in the song, because it's the main artist. Yeah, no, I get you, for sure. Yeah. So that answers your question. <laughs> Dear Stan, I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered you would call your daughter that. And here's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you with the show. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to diss you. But what's the shit you said about you like to cut your wrist too? I say that shit just clown is all. Come on, how fucked up is you? You got some issues, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the shit about us meant to be together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. <laughs> I really think you and your girlfriend need each other. But maybe you just need to treat her better. I hope you get to read this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think that you'll be doing just fine if you relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you, but Stan, why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I seen this one shit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over a bridge and had his girlfriend in the trunk and she was pregnant with his kid. And in the car they found a tape, but they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... It was you. Damn. Damn. So our camera just died and that amazing long outro that we just recorded is completely gone. So I'm just going to run down a few of our thoughts right now. Uh, first and foremost, we've reacted to the clean version of Stan before. We thought it was awesome. And now we just did the dirty version and you guys were 100% right. It's 100%. Darker, nastier, dirty. The lyrics are just crazy. Uh, Eminem went completely off on this one. And Kill You is still stuck in my mind. Uh, actually, I think I might be liking that one better, but it's probably because I've heard Stan so many times at this point. But Kill You is a classic, definitely stuck in the head. Uh, so, so far with those three tracks in the intro, I'm gonna give this thing a 10 out of 10. Super classic. Uh, I can't wait to dive down the Marshall Mathers LP a little further. Me and Liz will be doing that, so make sure you subscribe, comment, like, hit us up, and we're just gonna keep going down this Eminem path. And, uh, you know, we are monetized, you know, so we don't make too much on here though, at least not yet. Um, but if you guys wanna support us, you can do a few things. First and foremost, my beautiful wife, Liz, she's an awesome photographer. Follow both of her Instagram pages. One shows her portrait photography where she takes images of people and makes them look pretty. So if you're in the LA area and you want some photos, check her out. And then secondly, she has a street photography page where she takes, you know, things that she finds interesting and creative in her everyday life. Check that out. If you want to buy a print or a portrait, you can do that. Uh, secondly, we're going to start a website or a store, I should say, where you can buy some merch of some of the artists we react to. And if you do this, that'll help us out. Uh, the third thing, you know, if you want to do the super thanks thing, leave a dollar or two. Hey, you know, I'm not going to complain. And uh, lastly, the last thing you can do is just subscribe to Liz's OnlyFans. I mean, I know you guys want to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's not having OnlyFans, you sick, sick fuck boy. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you Marshall Mathers LP Part 2 coming next week. Peace.